Hello again everyone, as usual I am Buff Bud, and today we are back with another episode of Hello Neighbor. Now last episode, uh, by the looks of it, we basically completed everything above ground at this guy's- Ouchies! Wow. Uh, we basically completed everything above ground for this guy's house, and then we headed downstairs to the basement, and we had some problems. Um, there we go. I'll show you what the problem is. There we go. Uh, first of all, am I missing something? Because I know once we go past that uh, shadow creature, we're not going to be able to come back here at all. Let's see. And I can't look in that. What if I place this here? Nope. Oh, wait, what? Huh. What if I do this? Will that cause problems for me? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so... The problem that we have right now is none of these doors are able to be opened. We can't pick up anything else. Oh god. Oh, is there a volume, please? Um, mixer? No. Uh, no, there's nothing, dang it. Okay, uh, so, this is probably gonna be pretty loud, this next part, so, uh, yeah. There we go. God, that thing is creepy. We good? Oh my god, I hate that. Oh my god. Yeah, whenever I hear that guy, it just... Oh, it hurts. Okay, so... There's nowhere else we can go, because this side has a uh, fence. That door is locked. We can't even pick up the boxes. That is shocking. Okay, um... Okay, what the... Okay, that was weird. I was stuck. Okay, so we then come into this room here. Why is that multicolored? Huh. Do you guys see that? It's like multicolored right there, for some reason. Anyway, the problem is right here. We need to get to that door, presumably, anyway. I can't even get those bricks. Uh, we need to presumably get to that door, and there's no way we could jump over these fences. And then in here, we can't pick up anything. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else around here. There we go. Uh, and then here was a brick wall that we broke through. And in this next room here, yet again, there's nothing but fences that we can't, that we can't jump over. Okay, then it just comes back around to this fence here that we could theoretically jump over, but the problem is we can't. Huh. Interesting. But the problem is we can't jump over it. Because uh, if we jump up on the TV even, and then we try and double jump, it doesn't work. So... So what I'm thinking is, can we basically build with Legos here? Professor McFarlane? Yes, what is it? Uh, and my name is Ellison, this is Harry Jarvis, we're from oh, the Morning no. Chronicle. I wonder if we could come in for a minute. If I do this... Well, I am rather busy. No, we go through the bricks. Right 
Dang it. And the problem with that is, I've tried... Hold on a sec. Maybe... I've tried looking up a tutorial on how to do this, and everyone that I saw was in a previous version of the game, like Alpha or Beta or something like that. And at that point, here, let me uh, get our TV quick so I can show you guys. Okay. Uh, in the previous version of the game, uh, this uh, fence right here actually was empty, which might explain why the top is, like, black. Maybe it's just, uh, leftover stuff from, you know, the previous version of the game. Uh, but anyway, what they did... Come on. Oh, come on. Really? That works. Is they would jump up on the TV, and then jump up on the, uh, the pipe here, which I don't even know if it's possible. And then they would double jump over that. But it doesn't seem like that's able to be done. Hmm. No, that didn't do anything. Dang it. Um, okay, so what if I quit? Does that go out of the game or does that, uh... I don't know if that goes out of the game or if that goes to the main menu. Okay, main menu. Okay, so if I uh, continue, it should put us back uh, before the basement again, since we can't get out of there anyway. Ow! I hate that. Okay. So, the one thing I know we're still waiting on is the tree over there. Yeah, and it's still growing now. So, if anything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just sit here waiting for the tree to grow uh, while trying to do some more research maybe somewhere I'll be able to find something that can help but so far I can't find anything that helps oh boy oh. sorry about that uh, long rant and all that um, but yeah like every walkthrough or tutorial I've found has not actually helped at all. So, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys whenever something happens. I either get, you know, information or the tree is done or whatever. Alrighty, so apparently, uh, if you are actually uh, running uh, and then jumping, you're supposed to be able to get more height. So that doesn't really seem like it, does it? Okay, so that fence is about this tall in the basement, isn't it? So if we can jump that... No... Unless he somehow got some other kind of upgrade. Huh. Well, the tree doesn't look like it's done growing yet, still. Yeah, it's still growing. Every now and then I see a couple pixels shift. Okay, so in that case, let me stand back so uh, our neighbor doesn't get me. Um, okay, let me, uh, there we go. Well, I don't want to get hit by a car either. Dang it, okay. There we go. So... I don't know. Hmm. I feel like the the tree here is supposed to do something for me. Maybe it gives me maybe maybe all of my abilities are like I don't know. I don't know, maybe it'll grow like a fruit that'll like supercharge our abilities. I honestly have no idea. Is it still going? Yeah, okay, it is. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna quickly look up more, trying to do, uh, try to do a bit more research, because apparently, uh, this one video is not helpful at all. I see you looking at me in the background there, dude. Alrighty, uh, so I'll be right back then. Oh! Okay! 
So apparently, if you're in the basement, uh, you can actually jump over the, the fence. Interesting. Um, part of me really does want to wait till the tree is done growing just to see what it gives me. But the other part of me just wants to go straight through. Um, yeah, might as well. I've made it this far. Let's do it. Oh my god. Get out of here, dude. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Yes. Oh god, I'm gonna run into that uh, shadow monster again, aren't I? Did I do it? Okay, finale. Uh, hello? Hello? Bro? This isn't terrifying at all. the heck? I'm sorry, what the? What the heck is going on? What? Umbrella up there. Okay, I do still have my uh, abilities. Am I dead? What the heck? I can't get in here. Okay then. I am so confused. What the heck? Okay, so it doesn't look like he's actually actively coming at me. I'm not gonna be able to do this because it's a dead end right there. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. But there's the control right down there. Ah, yeah, yeah. That was completely my fault. I will admit that. Now I'm really curious about what the apple would have done. Or tree that I'm assuming would have grown an apple. Because, I mean, let's be honest, what else would have grown? A banana? I don't know. There we go. Okay, so that starts that. Now it's obviously too late to ride it. Maybe I have to take a running start and then double jump up into that thing. And by the looks of it, uh, our double jump is actually another way that we'd be able to save ourselves. Okay, so let's see. We don't actually need hardly any of this stuff here. Um, the ball could come in handy, so I'll save that, but I'll get three boxes. There we go. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is, uh, if we're falling, if we double jump, it looks like huh, we should be able to um, uh, safely fall without, you know, dying if we time it correctly. This is weird. So we need to try and get into the house on his back? Maybe? I don't know. I am so confused. I mean, on the bright side, at least so far, it looks like it's somewhat linear. So, yeah. Oh, right. Can I light that one? Uh, hello? 
confused. Unless maybe we need to put them all out? <gasps> that does not help. Okay, so maybe I do have to light this one? Well, that definitely didn't help. What? There's nothing in one of these, is there? I am so confused right now. Am I... Am I okay? Am I tripping balls? Am I dead? Oh my god, all these noises. <laughs> I don't need to find something that will allow me to light that, do I? <gasps> the floor is cracked. Do I need to somehow get him to break the floor? So yeah, he's not actually a problem this time. He's just there. <laughs> Can light a box on fire and then light the other thing on fire, maybe? No. I can't do anything with that light. I feel like I need to try and explore a bit first before I continue. Oh, perfect. Okay, so yeah, if you time it just right, then you will be able to uh, survive falls like that. Let's get the ball again while we're down here. Hey, buddy. I don't suppose I could climb on you. No? Okay. I'm actually really surprised that uh, they didn't implement it to like, um, uh, to like, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Like, have him stomp on you or something. <gasps> Dang it. I was hoping I'd be able to hit the light switch and maybe something would happen. In fact, I, I still think something would happen. I just need to aim it right. Okay, maybe if I aim straight up. No, he always aims like back a bit more for some reason. Okay, where is it? There it is. It's a little hard to see with the balls here. Okay, so if I aim directly at it, it's gonna like go up to like here, so I need to aim a little below. A little too far below. Okay, so if I'll... Okay. By placing that box there, it'll give me a, um... Little starting point. Okay, now if I start here again... Nope. There we go. Now I was aiming, like, right about here. So let's aim about here now. Okay. It definitely clicked. Did it do anything, though? No. You're kidding me. They want me to jump in the toaster again, don't they? to carefully try and climb my way up the antenna here. <laughs> no way. No, that didn't help. I 
they wanted me to jump in the toaster. In fact, lighting the switch turned the toaster on. Or flipping the switch, I should say. Dang it, too high. Huh. It seems like what I have to do, though. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, boom. Okay. Alrighty, and there we go. So how do I do this, then? That didn't do anything. I need to go down into the toaster. That way I can get launched up like in that one fear room. Maybe? I don't know. Because everything is pointing up. Let's see. That yeah, umbrella. Up. And the light switch, the wires are going down into the, uh, the toaster there. Umbrella, up. So what is the deal with that house over there? There's no reason that would be unused. Anything around the corner here, maybe? No. In fact... No, okay, I can't go. Can you shut up, dude? Okay. So, let's try and go back into the house there. Maybe I missed something. This is so weird. I have no idea what the heck is going on. than the first time. So what is the point of this candle? Either everything needs to be lit, or uh, this one needs to be lit like everything else, or everything else needs to be put out. The problem is, and see, why would they have a bathtub here if you can't, like, put the fire out in the bathtub? That doesn't make any sense. Whoa, wait, what? The What? The light switch is down again. Why is it down again? Okay, so I know exactly where we uh, were looking, and 
standing and everything, so that's why I like that box being there. It's a time sensitive thing, and I need to hurry. Or maybe I need to put something else in the toaster here. Nope, it's a time sensitive thing. Couldn't even double jump. Okay, so I definitely need an umbrella before I go up there. That's what it's saying. So, where do I get an umbrella? an umbrella on the floor anywhere that I know of. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh, that's... Oh, I thought the floor was cracking. That's not a crack. That's a wire. Whoa. <gasps> Ooh, baby! <coughs> oh, man. Sorry about that. No way. <gasps> Ooh! there and then jump over and then get up into that house maybe I don't know okay yeah it doesn't look like he stops uh, you know with the pain we can't get over there now because we have to try and get a way to get up there Maybe, maybe we need to try and time it just right, and then we'll land somewhere. Why is the switch still... Maybe we didn't hit the switch properly first time? Or maybe dying reset it? Did we die since we, uh, did it? I don't know. Let's try this again quick. Maybe the, uh, toaster is actually set now. It is. Okay, so maybe we just didn't hit the, the uh, switch properly. Man, that's even too much of a drop. Dang it. Okay, I'm just going to put this down right here for now while we try and figure this out. Okay, so obviously that is the next course of action right now. But what do we need to do? do from there. I'm, I'm assuming we need the uh, umbrella for this and, and those signs don't mean the umbrella is up here. But I don't know. Uh, no, okay. Sorry, I saw that little thing over there and it kind of looked like an umbrella but I think it's just a shard of that room that uh, he broke. What did that do? <gasps> is that elevator going to come back down? Or is it just a one-time thing? Oh, no. Ah, okay. Okay, so I need to flick the switch and try and get on there. 
Nice. Okay. Here we go. So, what do I do up here, then? Looks like I need to leave before we get to the top, because it looks like... Oh, no, there is something at the top. Okay. I was thinking if we didn't leave in time, then we'd be uh, killed by, you know, getting crushed. But that is not how it is. Okay. Let me get the binoculars. That'll help me see things. Really? Really? Oh, come on. Dang it, really? Oh, come on! Dang it. Okay, well, this does something. Umbrellas! Lots and lots of umbrellas! A lot of a lot of umbrellas. Wow, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! Oh my god, okay. So... Let me jump back in... No way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The umbrella keeps landing in the toaster! <laughs> and it keeps getting launched up! Oh my god. Okay. So here, let me do this. There we go. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to here. Let's try and make it down there. It looks like there's something interesting down there. Can we make it, though? Oh, it's an arrow! Oh, come on! You can make it, you can make it, you can make it, you can make it! Uh, yes, okay. So... Do I need to break the... Fire. I need candles. I need a lot of candles. Shut up, dude. I honestly think this is the the finale. Like the the finale of the the game finale. Or well, pff, man. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Uh, I think this might be the uh the finale of the series. I know we're going a little over on time, but I don't want to come back next episode. And then have five minutes of gameplay. Because I don't know how much is actually left in this game. Okay, so... There we go. Alright, so we'll run over here. Yeah, so far everything seems somewhat straightforward, honestly. There we go, okay. Now we'll for sure be able to make it over here. Then we can whip out the- Oh! I see what we gotta do. We gotta drop these in here and shoot them at him. Um. Okay. Do I need to press the button on it as well? Or... Are they just gonna automatically go? Nice! Okay, what if I shoot another one at him? Will that do anything? Or is it just a one-time thing? Please tell me I don't need to do these in a certain, like, order. Like, maybe the arrow's not gonna work now? Okay. That worked. So maybe this will do something? Or is it... I don't know. I honestly think we are almost at the end. <clears throat> okay, do it. Shoot him in the face. No, okay. 
so you can only shoot him two times. Oh no. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it! Oh man. Dang it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the point of this is to definitely get up into that. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, dude, but I mean... You gave me no choice. You put me in this... Uh... I don't even know what to call this. Limbo? Okay. So let's get back over to the, uh... Uh... The arrow. The bone arrow. Dang it, I was hoping I'd be able to get that. There we go. Do I need to do something with the record player, too, maybe? Because that looks like something that I might need to do. This is so weird. Okay, so let's get down here. Okay. Candle. Uh... Candle. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I needed to actually... That didn't do anything to him. That did not do anything to him. Maybe I do need to do it in the right order. Hmm. I might... Maybe you don't need to do everything to him. Maybe, like, I could have only done the, uh... Uh... The, the baseballs and he would have uh, dropped down. Maybe I didn't need to do the, the firework at all. Because now it looks like he's low enough that I might be able to try and um, uh, use the umbrella to glide over to that far, uh, what's that? The far uh, table, I guess you could call it. Yes, okay, there we go. There we go. I might be able to glide over to there. Actually, I might be able to just glide straight over to that house instead. <clears throat> What's up, neighborino? Yeah. Mm. And I'm not sure what to do here. I had no choice. I just got an achievement. You guys can't see it. And these kids are still missing. Hello? Okay, so I can't do that. I can't pick up anything. I can still do that. anything down here? No, okay, it stops. my god so after his wife died his children went missing or his children also died and in his grief he denied that his children died so he kept putting up missing posters and in the process this evil shadow figure ended up possessing him and I guess enhanced his feelings and at that point he decided to kidnap other children in order to um in order to i guess fill the hole maybe i, I i'm just gas uh gasping grasping at straws here but i think that might be it
I feel like I need to hide. I can't hide. Is that me as a kid, or is that his kid? <laughs> and that kid's now hiding in the, uh... The thing there, I guess. Uh... Oh, wait, what? Maybe I need to save the kid? Maybe not. What? What the heck do I do? Do I hide? I can't hide. have to follow the kid and do something. Wait, what? I'm somehow saving him using my powers. I can't get in. Crud. Do I need to go around? I need to go around. Okay, so I need to go up here. I need to crouch down to use my invisibility as some kind of like little uh, protection thing. Oh, did you guys see that? As soon as he broke through the wall, I grew. Okay, so he's gonna go around... Into this room, maybe? Yeah. I feel like I'm getting taller each time. I am! I-I can't get up there. What the heck? Okay, so each time I save the kid, I get taller, so I have to find new routes for everything. Okay, wait, what? Why didn't that work? That should've worked. That's what I did every other time. go. Okay, so the kid's gonna come down here, go around back. So I need to go this way. Okay, the kid's gonna come back down here. Eventually. There he is. Oh, dang it. That sucks. Okay, so I know what I have to do. What the heck? This is so weird. There we go. Okay. So when I come back down here, the kid is gonna be like, right about here-ish. So if I do this, will it save him? Oh, why didn't that work? Oh my god. This is so weird. I have no idea what the heck is going on in this game anymore. Okay. And 
now come down here. And there we go. Oh my god! Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly uh, do this stuff off camera. I'll be back when I finally do it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I went in front of him and I did it. So now I need to go up these uh, stair, uh, up the the, the 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 ladder here. There we go. Okay, and the kid was like right over here this time, if I remember correctly. And I just need to like crouch down and try and protect him. Okay, there we go. Now I need to come down here, I guess. Um, I think I, I think I effed up. Yeah, I think I effed up. Okay, so I need to go over there somewhere, but how? I'm too tall to fit. Okay, I think I have a better idea of what I need to do now, so... Oh my god! He says right before the kid dies. This is weird! This is like final boss battle material. Okay, there we go. So if I go in front of him as he's trying to, uh, to escape the guy, and then I, uh, crouch, then it will work. I've noticed. Okay, so the kid comes down here next, and he goes to, like, right here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now he comes up here. Are you kidding me? I died? Oh my god. This is so dumb. Oh my god. Okay, I'll get back to that third one then. Alrighty, here we go. I'm at the, the third uh, part where I need to save him. I don't know where he goes specifically, so I'm gonna have to uh, wait for him to come over here. Oh god. No! Oh man. Well, crud. Dang it. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Okay. So, I think I got a hand, uh, uh, the, the, the hang of this now. Wow. Okay, go in front of him, and then go invisible. It works every other time! Why does it not work when I'm recording it? Okay, so he's gonna sit down. I go invisible. There we go. And then I quickly hurry down here. Go around. Then I go, like, right here. Go invisible, wait for him. Okay. Here he comes. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I need to do this. There we go. Okay, now I need to try and be careful here, because if I'm too far forward, then I won't be able to continue. But then again, I don't know where else I need to go anyway. Why is he always going towards windows? There we go. Okay, so I need to quickly try and come through here. Where's he gonna go, though? Where's he going? Oh, down there, okay. Hurry, dude. No, no! God! Dang it! Okay, so I just need to hurry. Oh my god. 
Okay, now that I know where he's going to go, I think I can do this. There we go. What's the point of all this? I'm sure Matt Pat from Game Theory has made multiple theories about what's going on here. I need to watch them when I'm uh, finished with the series. Because I don't want spoilers, so... Then again, at this point, I've pretty much seen everything in the game. Except for this, obviously. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I need to hurry up. What the heck? Okay, hurry on up. There we go. Then he's gonna stop right about here, I believe. Right by the post. Yup, okay. There we go. And now... If you guys can hear me again, now I need to quickly come through here. Okay. Oh, come on. When I'm this big, I can barely do anything. Okay, so then he is gonna come down here. So, like, right here. There he is. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. Oh. Dang it. He's probably gonna die. Yeah, okay. Dang, okay, so I'll be I'll meet you guys back over there then. Alrighty, so we are back at this point. Uh, I need to go up here. Oh my god, I'm so slow, I feel. Okay, and the kid's gonna come up to, I'm assuming, like, right about here. I can't see anything, though. There he is. Oh! No more fears. I'm bigger than him now, aren't I? Yeah, I killed him. I was so big that I killed him. Whatever he was. Hi. Do you need someone to save you? I can do that. Can I? No, don't open the door. Don't do it. Don't open the door. No, he's locked it out. He locked it out. So... What is going on here? I have no idea what's going on here. That was all just a nightmare? <sighs> Is the tree still there? No, because that would I planted that in the nightmare. Hey. Apple. Seriously, that's the end. Oh my god, there is so much here that I just don't understand. Okay, so... <sighs> so, let's see. From everything that we've gathered, by the sound of it... <sighs> what 
is that glitching out? Anyway, uh, by the sound of it, his wife died in a car accident, mm -hmm. and somehow... I'm, what I'm thinking is, his wife died in a car accident, and then his grief got hold of his inner demons, represented by that, you know, shadowy demon figure, and he maybe killed his children? And without even thinking of it, you know, because, I don't know, grief can make you do weird and terrible things, so maybe what happened is he killed his children in some kind of fugue state, and, you know, when he, uh, I guess, got out of that state, he didn't realize that he killed his children. And he put up missing posters, and he kept on trying to fill the void by kidnapping other children, maybe? I don't know. And then, when we defeated that... Oh. When we took down the giant neighbor and we got into the house, we were trying to help him deal with the grief and we helped him take care of his inner demons and then he locked uh, he tried to lock them away. Maybe? I don't know, like I said earlier, I'm probably just grasping at straws here. I can't even do anything here, honestly. Do I just escape? No, this is it. Is there anything here? I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm probably just, you know, pulling all this out of my butt. But yeah. Does this just not end? I don't know if this ends. I can't escape. I can't... Or, I, I can't escape, but I can't uh, do anything. Um, I can't enter. I can't click any... Yeah, I can't do anything. I think I just have to... Escape? If I continue, yeah, no, it just comes back here. So that is officially the end of the game. Then, if I would have known it would have been this long, I would have, you know, split it up into two episodes. But yeah, I didn't realize it was gonna be this long. But yeah, anyway, I mean, apart from uh, Act Three, that was actually a pretty game, uh, pretty great game. Act Three was complete bull. Act 2, I mean, it wasn't terrible. I ended up being able to basically speedrun that thing in about 20 minutes. So, yeah, but Act 3, that was just insane. Oh my god. Oh! Big ol' stretch. Oh, man. That is gonna have to be it for this series, and I was not actually expecting this. Oh, man. Well, I guess I know some things that could uh, replace this series. Okay. Anyway, um, that is going to have to be it for Hello Neighbor, then. If you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, and have a great day, then. Goodbye.